Okay guys, this is episode two. I know, we've made it pretty far together. Like, this is very unusual for me. On the last episode, someone asked whether this whole project is gonna be crowdfunded. Now, I wanna to talk to you about the foundation of a startup and basically what I'm intending to do and how I'm able to do what I'm currently doing. So I am not, I'm gonna get more comfy. Let's, let's just get comfortable here. So basically, no, I'm not crowdfunding and I'm not taking you on this journey just to lead you to a point where I'm gonna ask for money. That's not gonna happen, okay? Unless you wanna buy pants and then it's gonna happen. Basically, this time last year, I wouldn't have been able to afford this venture. I don't come from an extremely wealthy family. I don't have a sugar daddy. And I knew that if I wanted to do this and I wanted to, like, I guess, follow my passion, I would have had to reinvest in this business. So what did I do? So I've been doing social media for about four years now, which is quite a while. And as a lot of people know, you do social media promotion. And yes, there's the ability to earn a decent amount of money on social media, but I just don't really like taking on a lot of promotion, especially when I don't believe in a product. So um, it's very limited for me. But I studied and gained my qualifications as a personal trainer. And I decided that I wanted to write a program because there was a high demand, especially for a booty program. And this is where I saw my opportunity to release my first product. So I manufactured my own resistance bands and there's four bands and it's in the DB booty band pack. And I did this all from scratch myself. It was my first time dealing with manufacturers and it was good experience for what I'm dealing with now. And I have to say the whole time I was manufacturing those bands all I could think of was how hard is it gonna to be to manufacture clothing if a rubber band is this difficult but the booty program was a great success I was very proud of it and I basically saved my profits from the sales of the program and reinvested it in this project right now and the key word there is save I don't spend a lot of money on myself the money I earn I want to reinvest in my active wear and for instance on social media there is a lot of superficial things a lot of it is about image um, I drive a Mazda I don't drive a Mercedes because I'm saving I still live at home because I'm saving I don't need those overheads and if you want to start a business and you don't have a large fund or a backer or an investor, you will need to save and you will need to reinvest. So I have two pieces of advice in this area. Firstly, don't destroy your brand by buying other brands. And secondly, don't go broke trying to look rich. I'm sure you've heard from a lot of startups and even large successful companies that business requires a lot of sacrifice. And I think one of the biggest sacrifices that you're going to have to make and that is quite difficult at a young age is your social life so friendships and even potentially relationships because not everyone will understand why you are so dedicated to your work but they will see the results basically it requires a lot of time and commitment and you have to be passionate because you really do need to dedicate yourself to this project. Okay, so you're saving your money, your overheads are low, maybe you live at home and you don't drive a flashy car. Where to next? The first thing that I did was secured all of my intellectual property or just even my usernames for my brand. So basically what I did is I went onto all the social media channels that I knew I would require for my brand and just secured the username. So you're gonna to wanna to do that. Basically, you want to you want to know what your business is going to be called. So this really should come to you quite naturally. Mine did obviously because I already have a social media account, Danny Bell, and all my branding is under Danny Bell. Um, so Danny Bell Active was and DB Active was just a general extension of that brand. So once you know what your business is going to be called, you're going to need to register that business name. In Australia, it's pretty easy. We just jump on over to. IP Australia and you just register your business name and you have to pay a certain amount and you secure it for a number of years so I've actually got mine registered for three years now and I just would continue to renew that because you just want to secure that intellectual property. These are just the basics. You want to register your business name and you want to register all of your social media accounts because you just want to secure that before anyone else can basically. It's just, it's a race. <laughs> Obviously down the track you can look at trademarking and just more strict intellectual property protection but for starters, you just want to secure your basics. I would also recommend securing your website domains and your email address for your business. All right, so I'm going to wrap this up. I feel like I should wrap it up on this couch over here. Perfect. All right. In summary, no, actually, I missed this one. I missed this couch so much. That's way Okay, I was good all along. In summary, to start DB Active, this is what I did. I secured all of my domains, all the relevant ones, all the .com, .au's, the works. I secured all of my social media branding, so Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, 
all of it. And by secure, I mean you go online. So for instance, for a domain, you will have to go on to, I'm, I'm hosting with GoDaddy and I go on to their website and I actually just buy that domain and you buy it for a certain period of time. So I'm pretty sure I'm registered for three years again. Um, so that's what I mean by securing. So when I say you secure your business name, you have to go on and you, you buy that business name for a period of time. With Instagram, for instance, you will create a new account and you will enter a name and hopefully it's not taken and then you will just secure that profile name. So basically that's like the foundation. Um, and then because I wanted to obviously do activewear, I had to find a manufacturer. I had to find several manufacturers and I needed to begin sampling. But you know, that's a, that's a whole new story that we'll talk about next week. So if you want to hear it, tune in next week. Also, I will show you some disastrous samples, but next week. Oh, and um, part of the foundation of obviously a startup is to like and subscribe to this channel. To like this video, subscribe to my channel. Like and subscribe. See you guys.